NBC TV had an exclusive just about a month after the other Tabirla Group company Ultratech called off its deal with JP Associates. CNBC TV 18 learns the two sides are all set to announce a new definitive deal tomorrow. Nisha Podar, who broke that story, now joins us live. First up, Nisha, welcome to the CNBC TV 18 family. Now, getting down to business, you know, JP had announced to the stock exchanges yesterday that it was going to meet on Thursday to consider divestment. So, I'm guessing this deal is part of that. Nantara, thanks so much uh, and really appreciate you welcoming me. All right, so from sources, uh, we are gathering that the memorandum of understanding that has been already signed between Ultratech and JP Associates for this large transaction, the cement of uh, capacity of 22.4 million ton, worth about 16,500 crore rupees, that is going to get sealed tomorrow. In its board meeting on the last day of this financial year, 31st of March, that's when JP Associates is going to really sign the definitive agreement with Ultratech to get that 16,500 crore rupees kitty. Now, this is going to be a big relief, especially for the lenders. And in my sense, the lenders are the ones which uh, have really driven this particular deal and have to have to really complete it by March 31st so that they can account for uh, their uh, exposure to JP Associates accordingly. Now coming to the really consummation and the money coming in from Ultratech to JP Associates and therefore uh, be used in paring down its debt level that's going to be dependent on how soon the deal gets consummated and here the tricky bit is that MMDR uh, Act um, and the amendment to that that is in the process. If that happens quickly then this structure of the deal will change. In fact, there will be no requirement of a demerger of the entire cement assets which uh, JP Associates is going to sell to Ultratech, which is expected to take six months to one year. So really, the, the, how fast this deal can be consummated depends on that particular bill getting amended. But nonetheless, they are going to go ahead with this deal um, sooner than later and 31st March is when they are expected to announce the definitive agreement between the two companies.